In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Fulton Joseph, for our Bishop John, for the venerable priest of the diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For Metropolitan Fathers, Bishop Johann, and from their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. civil authorities, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. By sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> that this water may be sanctified by the power, act, and descent of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> that in this water may be planted the action of purification which belonging to the Trinity transcendent in essence. Let us pray to the Lord. And it may be granted the grace of redemption and the blessing of the Jordan. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may be lighted by the light of knowledge and true worship by the descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. This water may become a gift for sanctification, redemption for sins, for the healing of soul and body, and for every meat benefit. Let us pray to the Lord. That this water may be beneficial for eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. That it may drive away all the cunning desires of our enemies, visible and invisible. Let us pray to the Lord. from and take home for the sanctification of their homes, let us pray to the Lord. That it may be for those who drink and receive therefrom in faith the pur purification for their souls and bodies, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be worthy to be filled with sanctification as we receive of these waters by the appearance of the Holy Spirit in an invisible manner, let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord may answer the voice of our beseeching, even of the, us who are sinners, and have mercy upon us, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee, together with thine unoriginate Father, and that all holy, good, and life giving Spirit be long all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Trinity, transcendent in essence, in goodness and in divinity, the Almighty who watcheth over us all, invisible and incomprehensible, O Creator of intelligent essences, natures endowed with speech, the goodness of utter and unapproachable light that lighteth everyone that cometh into the world. Lighten me also, thine unworthy servant. Illuminate the eyes of my mind, so that I may venture to praise thy countless benevolences and thy might. Let my prayer in behalf of this people be wholly acceptable, so that my sins may not prevent the descent here of the Holy Spirit. 
that I may be allowed to cry to thee without condemnation and say, Glorify thee, O Master, lover of mankind, the Almighty King before eternity. We glorify thee, O Creator and Author of all. We glorify thee, O only begotten Son, who art without father on the side of thy mother, and without mother on the side of thy father. For in the preceding feast we have beheld thee obeyed, and in this present feast we behold thee perfect man, O our perfect God, appearing from the perfect. For today we have reached the time of the feast, and the rank of saints gathers with us, and the angels celebrate with humans. Today the grace of the Holy Spirit hath descended on the waters in the likeness of a dove. Today has shown the sun that saith not, and the world is lighted by the light of the Lord. Today the moon shineth with the world in its radiating beams. Today the shining stars adorn the universe with the splendor of their radiance. Today the clouds from heaven moisten mankind with showers of justice. Today the uncreated one accepteth of his own will the laying on of hands by his own creation. Today the prophet and forerunner draweth nigh to the master and halteth in trembling when he witnesses the condescension of God towards us. Today the waters of the Jordan are changed into healing by the presence of the Lord. Today the whole universe is watered by the mystical streams. Today the sins of mankind are blotted out by the waters of the Jordan. Today hath paradise been opened to mankind and the sun of righteousness has shone for us. Today the bitter water is changed at the hands of Moses to sweetness by the presence of the Lord. Today are we delivered from the ancient morning, and like a new Israel we have been saved. Today we have escaped from darkness, and by the light of the knowledge of God we have been illuminated. Today the darkness of the world vanishes with the appearance of our God. Today the whole creation is lighted from on high. Today error is annulled, and the coming of the Lord prepares for us a way of salvation. Today the celestials celebrate with the terrestrials, and the terrestrials commune with the celestials. Today the assembly of noble and great voice orthodoxy rejoices. Today the Lord comes to baptism to elevate mankind above. Today the unbowable bows to his servant to deliver us from slavery. Today we have, brought, we have bought the kingdom of heaven, for the kingdom of heaven has no end. Today the land and the sea have divided between them the joy of the world, and the world hath been filled with rejoicing. The waters saw thee, O God, the waters saw thee, they were afraid. Jordan turned back when it beheld the fire of the Godhead coming down and descending upon it in the flesh. Jordan turned back at beholding the Holy Spirit descending in the likeness of a dove and hovering over thee. Jordan turned back when it saw the invisible visible, the Creator incarnate, and the Master in the likeness of a servant. Jordan turned back and the mountains shouted with joy at beholding God in the flesh. And the clouds gave voice wondering at Him who comes, who is light of light, true God of true God, drowning in the Jordan the death of sin, the thorn of error and bond of Hades granting the world the baptism of salvation. So also am I thine unworthy and sinful servant, as I proclaim thy great wonders, encompassed by fear, crying reverently unto thee, and saying, Great art thou, O Lord, and wonderful are thy works, and no word doeth justice to praise of thy wonders. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Great art thou, O Lord, and wonderful are thy works, and no word do it justice to the praise of thy wonders. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Great art thou, O Lord, and wonderful are thy works, and no word do it justice to pray the praise of thy wonders. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. For by thy will thou didst bring out all things out of non existence into existence, and by thy might thou dost control creation, and by thy providence thou dost govern the world. Thou it is who didst organize creation from four elements and crown the cycle of the year with four seasons. Before thee tremble noetic powers, thee the sun praiseth, the moon worshipeth, the stars submit to thee, the light obeyeth, the tempest tremble, the springs worship thee. Thou didst spread out the heavens like a tent, thou didst establish the earth upon the waters. That is, surround the sea with sand, that is, pour out the air for breathing. Thee do the angelic hosts serve, thee the ranks of the archangels do worship. The many I cherubim, the six winged seraphim, as they stand in thy presence and fly about thee, hiding in fear from thine unapproachable glory, while remaining a boundless God, beginningless and ineffable. Thou didst come to earth, taking the likeness of a servant, and became like man. By the feeling of thy compassion, O Master, thou couldst not bear to see mankind defeated by Satan, but it's come and save us, for to thee do we attribute grace, and preach mercy, and conceal not benevolence. The sons of our nature, thou didst free, the virginal womb by thy nativity, thou didst sanctify. 
Therefore, all creation hath praised thee in thine appearance, for thou art God, our God, didst appear on earth and among men, thou didst walk the courses of the Jordan, thou didst sanctify, having sent unto it from heaven, thine all holy spirit, and didst crush the heads of the dragons nestling therein. Wherefore, thou King and lover of mankind, be present now by the descent of thy holy spirit, and sanctify this water. Amen. Wherefore, thou King and lover of mankind, be present now by the descent of thy Holy Spirit, and sanctify this water. Amen. Wherefore, thou King and lover of mankind, be present now by the descent of thy Holy Spirit, and sanctify this water. Amen. And grant it the grace of redemption, the blessing of the Jordan. Make it a fount of incorruptibility, a gift for sanctification and redemption for sins and elixir for maladies, a destroyer of demons, unapproachable by the adverse powers and full of angelic powers, so that to all who drink therefrom and receive thereof it may be for the sanctification of their souls and bodies, for the healings of sufferings, for the sanctification of homes, and for every befitting benefit. For thou art our God, who with water and the Spirit renewed our nature made old by sin, Thou art our God, who has drowned sin in the water at the time of Noah. Thou art our God, who with the seed did deliver the Hebrews from the bondage of Pharaoh at the hands of Moses. Thou art our God, who didst cleave the rock in the wilderness, so that the waters gushed out and the valleys overflowed, thus satisfying thy thirsty people. Thou art our God, who with the fire and water didst deliver Israel from the error of Baal at the hands of Elisha. Wherefore, O Master, sanctify this water by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. Wherefore, O Master, sanctify this water by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. Wherefore, O Master, sanctify this water by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant to all who touch it and who are anointed by it and who receive thereof sanctification, blessing, cleansing, and health. Save, O Lord, thy servants, our faithful civil authorities. Keep them under thy shadow and peace. Subdue under their feet every enemy and adversary. Grant to them the means of salvation and eternal life. Be mindful, O Lord, of our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, and for our Bishop John, all the priests of the diaconate in Christ, every priestly order, and all thy people here present, together with all our brethren who are absent for a just cause. Have mercy on them and on us, according to thy loving kindness, that thy holy name may be glorified by the elements by angels and by humans, by visible and invisible creatures, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy Spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To thee, O Lord. Incline thine ear, O Lord, and hear us, O thou who didst sanctify water with consent to be baptized in the Jordan. Bless us all who by the bowing of our heads have signified our bondage and make us worthy to be filled with thy sanctification by the receiving of this water and its sprinkling. Let it be to us, O Lord, for health of soul and body, for thou art the sanctification of our souls and bodies, and to thee we strive glory, thanksgiving, and worship with the Father who hath no beginning in that all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, the God and author of life, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> when thou, O Lord, was baptized in the Jordan, worship of the Trinity was made manifest. For the voice of the Father bore witness to thee,
Yeah. <laughs> 